Well, Pakistan have been in England for over a month now, and finally, they're on the winning bus. Now, Pakistan, they're up against a fine English bowling attack today. Remember that top six faced the West Indies with short pitch, fast bowling the other day, and they couldn't handle it. So how are they going to come up against the likes of Archer, Wood, Stokes and Wokes, who would have been licking their lips, thinking that it was going to be easy today? Well, full, full credit to Pakistan. They showed courage. They fronted up. They didn't lose a wicket till the 14th over, and they put pressure on these four quicks. England was starting to panic, oh, no. and it showed. There was a little bit of a fumbling in the field. They went on and made 348. It was a good total. Now, when they started bowling, they got the early wicket of uh, Roy. And then Root edged one to first slip in that fifth over. And Babar Azam and Safras, little miscommunication. And Babar Azam dropped one. A little late on it. Root went on to make 100. That could have been costly. But that wasn't the turning point of the game. The turning point of the game was in the middle of the Pakistan innings when Hafiz was on 14 off 11 balls. He's tried to charge Rashid. It's gone up in the air. And Roy, his hands were too low. The eyes were off the ball and it caused him to drop the catch. Hafiz went on to make 84 off 62 balls. That was the difference between winning and losing for England. Well, well done to Pakistan. Now, today's game. We've got Sri Lanka taking on Afghanistan. Now, for me, this is probably a battle for the bottom two teams, or likely bottom two teams. Now, for me, Sri Lanka, they're in a building phase out this particular stage. They need Matthews to step up. Matthews, his strike rate is too slow for international cricket the way that one day cricket is being played out at the moment. He's experienced, he's got to step up. He's got to show these younger players how to bat under pressure situations. Karana Ratna the other day, he batted superbly. He's leading the way, the others have got to follow. But with the Sri Lankan batting against New Zealand, they were playing from the crease and they got caught out. I'm expecting better footwork against the quick or the medium paces of Afghanistan today. So for Sri Lanka, their batting's got to have quicker footwork, otherwise they're going to be found out again. Now for Afghanistan, well, this is a big one. This is a game that they should pencil in as the one that they are going to win. They beat Sri Lanka a couple of months ago in the Asia Cup, so they're going to be there with full of confidence. But for me, their likes of Ashgar has got to come back in, but Ramit Shah has got to make sure he bats through the innings. And those two openers up front have got to make sure they don't lose early wickets. They've got to take their time. They've got to make sure they've got wickets in hand out the end. Don't go after the bowling too early, because if they're at the 35th over, you've got the likes of um, Najee Buller and Golbadeen coming in. They can take the game away from uh, Sri Lanka. If they get 280 on the board, Sri Lanka are going to be nowhere near it. So for me, Afghanistan are going to win pretty easily tomorrow. Sri Lanka need a lot of work to do. Now, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe downstairs, get on the bell, and uh, that will give you a noti notification of the next uh, little video coming out. Not the notification that your bus has arrived. I'll see you tomorrow.